Hey everybody, welcome back to Sam Can Do. I'm Sam, I'm a mom, a maker, I'm a Glowforge enthusiast, and I have a new microphone. I hope that it sounds okay. I remember to turn off the AC. I was so excited about getting these new mics in the mail that I literally, um, I didn't, my hair, it has its own mentality today. Look, I feel like as a female YouTube person, like guys can just like roll out of bed, put on a polo and like make sure there's not a booger in their nose. But sometimes I feel like if I'm not like, whatever done up that it's not the same and I you know it's also for me I feel confident that way so I'm just letting you know my hair is a little crazy I feel you know I have naturally curly hair that I'm learning to work with and this is like day two you know curls but what, that's not why we're here we're here because I want to share with you one of my favorite crafts that I do on the Glowforge it's super easy very beginner friendly um, and also it's just an excuse to use this new microphone and test this out so I hope that we do a double doozy I'm actually taking this using this craft because I want to put it on my Instagram, but it's a really great gift. Um, it's really fun. It's these little name plates. I'm gonna walk you through the process. And yeah, by the way, would you please subscribe to my channel? I'm so close to 4,000 uh, subscribers. And also, if you like this video, it would help me out immensely to let YouTube know that I'm making content again and to put my stuff out there so people can see it. Also, my most viral video is a terrible one. It's terrible. Go back and look, it's really embarrassing. So I hope that people see this content. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. All you're gonna need is a Glowforge um, and some walnut veneer. You can use any kind of veneer. You can use anything that's really thin. I like walnut veneer because it gives kind of the vintage look. Super easy to work with. And it already comes with like a sticky side so you can actually adhere this to your nameplate, which I'll sh show you here we can get the nameplate holders. So all you're gonna do is open up whatever documentation, you know, Documentation, make your files. Um, I can actually share mine, which is the edge piece, um, which is a two inch by 10 inch. If you get the same nameplate that I have, that would fit perfectly. And then you just find whatever you wanna write. You could write it in, I think you can even write it in like, oh, my dog is literally sniffing right below me. Um, you could do it in like PowerPoint, you could do it on um, you know, Photoshop, whatever things that you make that can make a PNG. Um, you can download a PNG. I, there's so many different ways to do that. That's all you're gonna need is that edge piece that I'm providing for you in the PNG. Open up the Glowforge app, app.glowforge.com. You should be signed in already. Drag and drop that little square in. Remember, anytime you're moving your things around in the Glowforge app, if you wanna turn them perfectly 90 degrees, 45 degrees, just hold shift while you're clicking that rotation button. I like to kind of use um, whatever I'm working on. Like if I have a piece of leftover material and I need to kind of stick it in the edge, I like to put my art right in the middle of the board Center it all up, make sure it's good. Use the rulers to measure because even though you might format the file to two inches by seven inches or by 10 inches, it's gonna go in just randomly in the middle of the, you know, it's not gonna be sized perfectly. So you can use those rulers to size it up. Add that PNG, or if you're an illustrator, you could have them both together. It would work just fine that way. Um, and then go ahead and set it to cut. Now I went ahead to use the proof grade settings for the engrave, but for the cut, I took the proof grade settings, I bumped down the speed just a little bit and did two passes. So I knew that it was gonna cut without a problem. Then once you take it out, it's perfectly masked with this topper that can protect it and you can use any kind of paint. You can leave it as is, but I like to use paint to get into those, that, those engraved spaces and then you peel off that wonderful masking and it's gonna look so clean and so cool. Here it is. What do you think? I always love the way that these come out. I've made quite a few. I have some that say funny things. I, I'm gonna actually put some on my Etsy shop, which by the way, I'm getting an Etsy. I have an Etsy shop now. That's a new thing and I'm feeling kind of weird about it, but it's a thing. So you can order the goods that I make. Um, but yeah, these are really fun because you really can, you know, use your creativity. I like them as gifts when they say rude things. I think that that's funnier. Maybe that's just the way that me and my friends relate to one another. Do you love it? Yes. <laughs> I have lots of different ones, but um, you'll see some on my Etsy shop. This is the one I made today. And yeah, I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. We're gonna have crafty chats this week. So get ready for that. And I love you. I love you. I've just been so grateful for all of you. Like getting to do this kind of stuff full time is like, and I hope that you looked at my Instagram because I'm doing like a rebrand launch so that people see my stuff and I did new channel art and it just feels like a lot of things. So this nameplate is kind of like, hi, I'm here. I'm ready to be professional. I'm getting to do lots of cool, cool photography and art. I'm rambling because I just enjoy y'all and I feel like I don't get to talk to y'all about regular stuff either. Um, but yeah, it's a cool season. Let me know if you guys want more personal stuff, you know, just, just, 
let me know. Anyway, have a great night and sorry about my hair and also not sorry because that's just how I am and anyway, I'm just gonna leave. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>